good YouTube coming back listen I do apologize for no low board Friday I was just super busy Friday and Saturday and Sunday so I'm gonna go ahead and put the paycheck on this video and then I'll do another paycheck for next video um, for the pay coming up so somebody wanted me to do st. Louis Illinois not st. Louis Illinois st. Louis Missouri um, I think Connecticut and New York um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one city in Connecticut and do a bunch of miles around it so that you can get into New York as well. Uh, this is St. Louis, but I only did 100 miles, so let me go here. And as well, so I don't know if majority of y'all are familiar with how J.B. Hunt does it right. So come... Come the 9th, yeah, come the 9th, they're changing everything, right? So, right now, right, so let's say I look at this West Palms, Missouri low going to Gary's uh, Graveberg, you know. Um, you see how it says Lion Hall and then your fuel surcharge? Well, now they're going to eliminate the 35% out of here. So, now you're, what you see is what you get. So you don't have to calculate it anymore. You know, boom, click it. You already know how much exactly what it is. No more um, having to do any deduction. So that's something new. I don't know if I, I'm okay with it along because this is this is how I look at it, right? Some people are going to say, well, how do you know what you're really being paid? How do you know what you're really be? I mean, let me rephrase that. If a load is a thousand dollars on the load board right now, right, and minus thirty five percent, that's six six hundred and fifty dollars to you, right? That's just we're just doing basic math, right? Well, if you see the same load that pays six hundred and fifty dollars, how you don't know that it's a real a, a, a actual thousand on the back end, right? You already know what JB Hunt is telling you that is a thousand. Well, you can't you can't say the same for when the load comes on here at six hundred fifty dollars because guess what? It was you didn't know what it was prior to you know them changing it. So I don't care about that. I just don't want to go to an all in rate. I don't want to have it where JB Hunt doesn't show me my fuel surcharge. That's what I'm saying. That's what I don't want to happen. But I do sorry for the you know the mix up of words and stuff like that. So I do apologize about that. Um, it's not a whole bunch of loads coming out of um, St. Louis within 150 miles. So I'm a. I mean they're not bad. I mean but they're not the greatest. You know they want to pay you five hundred dollars to do this little rinky load. What is it? 63 miles? Yeah. Uh, so, I think that starts on the 9th. I'm not 100% sure about that. That was brought to my attention. I didn't even know it was happening. I don't even look at the messages half the time. So, I do apologize if I'm scrolling through these fast. Uh, yeah. So, Let's go ahead and drop back to uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 200 I'm gonna do 325 for this because I want to try to connect to New York, New Jersey, hopefully up uh, upstate New York. I think I'm saying that right. I might be saying it wrong like I'm talking about like your Syracuse, Albany, Buffalo and you know all that hopefully that connects i know it's a little bit further out with buffalo and stuff like that um maybe i should have did 400 miles but 325 might be good it might not even pull up so um i just got doing my little 30 minute walk and boy it's hot i picked the awkward time not to be fat anymore i'll tell you that um Danville, Connecticut to Summit, Illinois, which this ain't paying too terrible. Yes, it is paying terrible. So really, you're getting paid $980 to you to run this. Well, how many miles is it? Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know, bro. 
So 912 is what? 600 and we're just saying 620, 610. Yeah, 610. So this is only gonna pay you $1,500. Yeah, that ain't worth it. You get to keep more, but is it really that worth it? I don't know. I don't know. See, the rates are going back down steadily and shortly, okay? Yeah, very sh for sure they're going back down. But this could be in that market. So I'm going to look at look at my lanes and see um, how we look at it. See, like these loads should be paying like nine hundred dollars. So somebody already took that load. So let me make sure. Yeah, somebody ended up taking that load already. Like Liberty, this ain't paying enough to something. Like that's not paying it. But like I said, the rates are going down for some odd reason. I don't know why. But that's a little bit everywhere, you know. But I didn't ever really see them dropping like this. Like, oh, I thought this was Edison PA. Never mind. But that's New Jersey. Uh, I'm going to take a look where I'm usually at and see if the loads are paying normally what they normally would pay. Now... In my prior videos, I always tell people, you know, this is a specialized freight, so don't be thinking you're going to get a specialized number. You know, this isn't that. <laughs> this isn't that type of party. You know what I'm saying? So when you see these rates, you know, you got to compare them to the spot market. You know, that's more comparable than other places. You know, is it better than Snyder's? Yes. Is it better than Prime's? I can't say because they run reefer. They run flatbed. I don't know. I don't know what their little board looks like. Obviously, they have dispatchers, right? Um, but, yeah. I can tell you right now, no. See, these usually run more than that. No, that's about right. That is right about right. Yeah. Because I usually would take this load if I was going home, but obviously I'm not going home. And I've been told I've been a little picky, so all right, let's go with. I want to take a look in this area just to see if um, I'm not doing no 200, no 350 miles that wouldn't even show up properly on here. Not at all. I want to see what the Midwest is looking like. Now, obviously, this is, isn't the full Midwest, but this is the main Midwest, the main hub of freight. You know, see, 290. Yeah, it's about 290, so about 225, 230, 225 to your truck or something like that. Yeah. That's not that's not that bad. Like this. See, like this is what I'm saying. Like now, this is the market that I'm usually running in. Right? <laughs> I don't I just don't get like this is why I stay over this side. Now all the loads ain't gonna pay that. Like, you know, all of them ain't gonna pay that, but all of them are generally like around this area. Three dollars and something paying like two something, but is it the greatest? No, like this. Oh, I take this home every day. I take this home any every time I get a chance. Twinsburg, easy. Easy run. It's Frito-Lay. Um, they don't all pay like that, but majority of them do. You know what I'm saying? So, like, why, now, this is crazy, but as in bad crazy. I mean, it might not seem like bad because it's 375, but... I don't know. I, I, I probably would take that. Oh, to Lexington. Yeah, I'll probably take that. I don't know. I probably would. Frankfurt, Indiana to Davenport, Iowa. See, that's paying four bucks, three ninety a mile, right? Four dollars. 
three nine three eighty three seventy shit. I was way off. Uh, Crest Hill to Evansville, Indiana. It's not paying that. See, that's not bad. Like, it's just the certain markets that people go to that that people don't like. You know, this is paying over three bucks a mile. It's just the markets that you go into. You know, this is paying over three bucks a mile. It's all about the market that you put yourself into and you stay there. I stay in this general. I'm going to, let me show you right now. Oh, I run these all day long. Going all high. I don't run this. I def I mean, I would like to, but I don't like that Sam's Club takes all day to unload you. So I don't, I don't even deal with that. Um, Twinsburg, do it all, all day long. Um, White Town of Akron, do that all day long. Uh, Wintersville. See, now, if this was picking up on a temp, I would do this. This isn't too bad either. Um, I take this going home as well. This is like two bucks or some change, I think. I didn't even see what the rate was, to be honest. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Yeah, it's three something. It's not that bad. This is what I normally take. I usually take this load here. Last week I took it three times. This week I didn't get to take it at all. Um, it usually pay like two something to the truck. So it's it's light. Super light. But I always tell people, it's all about the market that you're in. It's about where you're going. You got to pick and choose your battles. You know, if you're going to take something, take something like, like, take, like, if you're going to take, let me show you. Uh, if you're going to take something, all right, like this Indianapolis to Macon, Georgia, right? Take something like this because even though it says the 13th through the 15th, you can pick this up in Indianapolis at 7 a.m. in the morning, right? Drive damn near all the way there on the 13th, right? Drop it on the 14th. Why are you going to hold this for a whole extra day? You don't. You don't need to. Drop that. That's one day. and You're still getting paid over like 11, 1200 bucks for that one day. You see what I'm saying? Like, you, you have to do it the smarter way, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, that Laredo ain't paying shit. That's crazy that that's paying only these nineteen hundred dollars. Oof, nineteen hundred dollars the hard way too. Oh my god, ain't no way. That's definitely a spot market load. Anytime you see some crazy bamboozle type stuff coming out like that, straight spot market. But like I said, this is the Illinois market. This is what you get. This is what you get in Indiana market. Somewhat, just a little bit dialed down. You know. Same thing here, right? 362 after you after their cut, it's like three bucks a mile. Yeah. And I know it's gonna people jump on here. Oh man, I get goddamn twenty dollars a mile. I don't care, bro. I'm not talking about you right now. I understand that. Just this is what JB Hunters have to offer. I didn't I don't you know I don't advocate for JB Hunt to people to come over here. If you ask a question about it, I tell you the truth, the unfiltered truth, and I show you the truth. I don't I don't need to lie about anything. So I'm gonna go to jump right into my paycheck for last Friday and I'll be right back with y'all. Alright, so I'm back real quick. Now, just to show you guys, obviously you see what I hit for the week. 2911, 32 uh nothing special uh with this uh let me see how many miles i said i ran 24.77 i would say deadhead miles is probably 100 something maybe two but we'll just say i ran 2300 miles for the week um deductions obviously fuel only ran 1144 dollars in fuel Def was $46. As you guys know, plates 50. Uh, ATBS is 23. I do have my medical insurance is 45. Um, 
low bore, which is a, a high, highway low bore, or some like people like to call it the premium, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that scales and bypass. All right. Uh, interest on extra, I got twelve dollars and twenty cents. Uh, I gross four thousand four hundred and seventy-eight dollars for the week. And I took home 20 deductions was fifteen fifteen hundred and sixty seven dollars and fifty four cents with a take home of what we say twenty nine eleven thirty two for the week. Not a bad week. Um, the upcoming week is gonna be a little bit worse, honey. I only ran a couple of days, so I had a take my daughter and my wife up to Cleveland so which wasn't too bad you know spent a little bit of time with them I took like four and a half five days off so this pay coming up this Friday when you're going to see on the low board this Friday you're going to see you know it's a shorter week but you know it is what it is I'm okay with it you know take a little bit of time off you know I do that about every other week so here is deductions loads so I took one, two, three, four, five loads uh, this week. If I were to left Saturday, like if I was to pick up a load on Saturday, deliver Sunday, and keep running off my recaps, I would have six loads on here. But I don't do that. Probably should look, invest, and think about doing that. So that's that. Here's my yearly numbers right now. As you guys know, I was off four weeks when my truck got hit. Um... You know, I had my surgery this year as well for you know gastric bypass. I ain't making, I ain't trying to make no excuses while I'm not even at a hundred thousand yet. But I'm okay with this number. Sorry about that, everybody. I'm okay with this number. I'm already netted close to fifty-five thousand to the bank, right? Let's just say I put up another forty-six. You know, that's another what? Well, we got uh, August, September, October, November, and December. Uh, so if I bring home roughly eighty five hundred a month, I'll net a hundred thousand to the bank. Net a hundred thousand to the bank, not gross. I would net a hundred thousand to the bank, right? So, and I'm talking about take home of eighty six hundred a month, not gross weekly eighty. No, or gross. That I'm talking about net eighty six, about eighty six hundred. That math might be off wrong, so don't don't judge me on that. So, if I could net that for the remaining of uh, August, the whole September, the whole October, and the whole November, which is four months, five, and then December, maybe another 40, 40 and some change, I'll probably hit the hundred thousand take home. But you know, already missing like maybe. Oof, out the year, probably I'm missing 12 weeks. So about two months. So this number should be at like 70, but I'm okay with that. I'm all right with this. I'm okay with that. I'm not, I'm all right with that. So I want to thank everybody for, you know, jumping in and watching and uh, taking the time out. Y'all stay hydrated, man. It's hot out there. Um, Y'all stay blessed. Please drive safe. Y'all have a blessed rest of your day.